there, it's Stephanie with Recipe Archaeology. Welcome to Kitchen Chats with Stephanie and Christine, our new podcast. And this one is a video podcast. So the uh, video that you're about to see was originally recorded in November of 2021. Christine and I discuss what we have in store for Thanksgiving. This was the first sort of real Thanksgiving after pandemic Thanksgiving. So we are excited about being able to kind of be back into the normalcy of post pandemic, if there's such a thing. Um, and so um, it was originally recorded for our Patreon subscribers. It's a very small audience and we felt like enough time has passed that we are going to release it to the masses. So it's available for everybody to listen to and view. We release kitchen chats twice a month, the first and third Monday of the month. So find Kitchen Chats with Stephanie and Christine wherever you listen to your podcasts. And um, also, if you want to check out the kitchen items that we love and love to use, head on over to amazon.com slash shop slash recipe archaeology, where you can see products that we love and we would never endorse something that we don't um, use. So these are all the things that we use in our kitchen and would recommend. So thank you for watching. Uh, enjoy this pre-recorded two years ago Thanksgiving episode. Check back in a few Mondays for a new Kitchen Chats and we will just keep on talking about what's going on in the kitchen. Thanks for watching. <music>
It's not bad. But I like to make my own. Sure. Just I like I it. I like a little I more orange. Mm -hmm. I like a little more spice. No, I get it. I get it. Just like to do it myself. Okay. So I always make a do not cranberry. Do you that. A cranberry chutney of some sort. Okay. And then I like it. Um, whatever they ask. Do okay. they ask for rolls? I'm going to make rolls. Do okay. they ask for um, a side? I'll make a side. Do they ask for a dessert? I'll make a dessert. One time I made, oh my gosh, I made this pie that was um, a the cookie butter. Uh -huh. I made a cookie butter pie. Oh. Oh. It was sinful. Wow. Oh, it was so good. And I made the crust the cookies. So the Biscoff cookies were oh the crust. Oh, my word. And then that... And, and then, then I a, had a like a fluffy, a creamy, fluffy, creamy, fluffy Biscoff kind of Biscoff filling? filling. And then I had Biscoff that I took and then I, um, and then I melted it and then put it all over the top Drizzle. with... With piped um, whipped cream. Oh my word! Oh. That sounds oh. delicious. It was delicious, and now I kind of want to make it again. Oh, you know, but you couldn't a, have much. There's a right. There's a similar pie. You can't have it because it has chocolate in it. But it's a Nutella pie. Oh, I heard that's that's really very good. similar to what you're saying, where you make a cookie crumb crust, oh, that and good. then it's just this sort of like um, cream cheese Nutella mm -hmm. filling. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! It is so. It sounds lovely. Good. I'm sure it is. Put a little hazelnuts on top of that. Mm, and you know, the whipped cream, you need whipped cream on top? Technically, Nutella is supposed to be made of hazelnuts, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's hazelnut flavored. Is it? And chocolate, hazelnut and chocolate. Do you taste the hazelnut in yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because otherwise it would just be chocolate. Yeah, but that's what it looks like. Every time I see people putting <laughs> Nutella on stuff, I'm like, that's just chocolate. No, it's delicious. There's been chocolate on right, stuff. Right, right. Um, I think I'm just jealous. You, yeah, because I know. Because I can't. I know, because you can't eat it because you're allergic to Chocolate. Right, but if you put it on in the morning, like if you see a, somebody putting it on toast in the morning, mm. you're like, mm, oh. you just having chocolate just, toast? Yes. Yeah, guess what? I can't you're just put, having chocolate for breakfast. I can't put cookie butter on, on a piece not? of toast. Why not? I mean, would you put peanut butter? It's just yes. peanut butter, but made out of cookies. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> I mean. It's just cookie peanut butter. There's no right? peanuts in it at all. It's just cookies. It's but just cookies. It's the same thing. Oh my gosh, yes. I don't know. I feel like you could put I know. that uh, cookie butter Why not? on toast. You know what? You do you. Exactly. We're still in a pandemic. Guess what? You we only got one life. Enjoy it. Just do it. Make it happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for, for Thanksgiving this year, we are totally. But last year, we did it alone. That was same. the first time. Yeah. yeah. I had never. Just the four of us. It was just the two of us. Yeah. At home. I know. Weird, huh? It was the weirdest thing. But we strangely still... relaxing. Did you do a turkey last year? Uh huh. I did all the so things. Did we. I did all the things, and it was just the four of us. And we Facetime my parents. We Facetime Adam's family. Yeah. And um, had it in the dining room and everything. It was weird. Yeah, it was, but it was strangely relaxing. <laughs> It was, it was relaxing. It was. Because you didn't have to run around. You didn't have to get dressed up or yeah. anything. You, you just yeah. you just were there. Yeah, yeah. And you exactly. didn't have to worry about it. Exactly. So yeah. I am excited about just being able to be with sure. our family. Everyone is vaccinated, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. double vaccinated with yep. our boosters. Yep. You know, so like. Bring it on. Let's make it happen. Bring, on the, bring it on. Bring it on. Bring on the, the thankfulness. The thankfulness and the just being with family. <sighs> and cheers to, just, thank, cheer, uh, to Thanksgiving together. Being so, thankful for things. Goodness gracious. Mm -hmm. I'm just so thankful that we get to be together because of the vaccines and all the other things. Exactly. So what are you guys going to do? So we are to my parents this year. Usually what we do is we switch every other year. Thanksgiving here with Adam's family. Thanksgiving in Texas with my family. Cool. And then last year, you know, obviously it was the weird year, but we were thinking like, I think the year before pandemic was here in Norman. So you would go so back to back Pampa. So we're back to Pampa. And so my mom's really looking forward to it. And she does all the traditional stuff. She'll yeah. she'll cook a turkey, the, you know, and, yeah. and she'll do all the things. And, um, you know, she'll do the super sweet sweet potato casserole. It is so ridiculously sweet. Um, with the marshmallows, my mom does the same thing. Yeah, I'll you know I'll help her that day of, and um, and I'll probably bring the I have a cranberry jello um, 
Yes. Recipe that I love. It's got orange slices, like orange chunks, like real orange, mm -hmm. not the mandarin oranges. But you have to plan ahead because you need orange jello and you need cranberry jello. And the stores typically do not carry cranberry jello anymore. So you have to buy it online. Wow. I know. So See, do you buy it from a jello, like the jello website? Well, I was Did looking. You I it? think you can buy it. I think you can get it like at walmart.com. Like uh, they don't sell it in the store, but they sell it online. Do they sell it on Amazon? They sell it on Amazon, but it was like $4 a box. A box? Well, they sell it, you know, like four or 12 boxes at once. And I'm like, I don't need 12 boxes of cranberry jello. I'm sorry. I just need two max. You should have that just on your shelf waiting. <laughs> I know. What, does jello go bad? I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, I would think that the sugar would crystallize eventually, like maybe in a hundred years, you probably, it's probably a solid block. Might be a good investment. Well, anyway, <laughs> so you have to plan ahead for the cranberry. Gotcha. It's, it's really yummy. It's got the whole cranberry, that whole cranberry sauce, the ocean spray. Yes, yes. Whole cranberry sauce. Mm -hmm. It's got that in there. It's got orange jello, cranberry jello, orange segments. Um, I think walnuts. The boys aren't huge fans of the walnuts, but I like the you like the, the crunch. crunch that it gives you. Mm -hmm. Orange zest. It's just a, oh yummy. cinnamon. I think it has cinnamon and nutmeg in it. Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, I really enjoy that. So I'll probably make that ahead and bring it, and I'll probably make a pie. And maybe I'll do a vinegar pie. Ooh, I do love a vinegar pie. And Chess it, pie. Yeah, just some like sort of. I know Adam loves apple pie. I'll mm. tell you what. There's a pie at Brum's. In their frozen, you know, section, yeah. it's like a cranberry apple. It's delicious. Really? It is so... Brahms. Brahms. My mom loves it. Everybody loves it. Pam and Gary. Pam, Gary loves it. Adam loves it. Everybody loves it. You just get Brahms. it Brahms. You just need to make sure to thaw it out in time. You know, because it's frozen yeah, yeah. solid. Brahms. Do you heat it up in oh, the... Oh, yeah. yeah. You so need you to, have to bake it. You need to bake it. Okay. Yeah. So you have to plan ahead because, again, it's frozen solid. You have to bake it delicious cranberry apple, apple pie from Brahms yeah well now I'm maybe gonna get you, it maybe you need to get it I'm definitely going to get uh, so it so I might swing by Brahms and I'll bring that do they have it right now probably I haven't looked I mean I rarely go to Brahms but um, I don't go to Brahms either but now I want to now go in their little frozen you know the other day I stopped at Brahms on the way back from um, COCDA from uh -huh. doing all the uh -huh. stuff uh -huh. and I got me a cherry malt Mm. Oh, cherry malt. Have you ever had a cherry malt? No. Try a cherry malt. It's my favorite thing to okay. get at Brahms. A Does cherry it have malt. chunks of cherry in it? Yeah, so they take, they, they use the, I know we're like anti maraschino cherry, I, well, but in this it works with the malt yeah. and the cherry. And it's, Is it vanilla it's ice vanilla cream ice or cream. do they have cherry ice cream? No, it's vanilla. It's vanilla ice cream vanilla and then ice they cream. put the, the maraschino cherries, whir it up. Whir it up. With the malt powder. But I like malt powder. I do too. I know. I do too. So do. try a cherry malt. It's really good. I feel like I need to treat myself to that. You treat yourself. You treat, treat yourself. yourself. Treat yourself. Right? Cherry malt. But yeah, I don't I don't normally buy things at Brahms. It's not It's never something I think about. But no. you'll be surprised, like you can find everything you need for dinner at that little Brahms market. Absolutely you can. You can find everything. Yeah. There. Anything you need for dinner, it's at that Brahms market. And it's really nice because it's all it's all really good. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. Huh. And yeah. it's just like small. I mean, you know, doo -doo -doo -doo, you get your you know, it almost reminds me of almost like a European market. Oh right. Where you're just like so small, so small, here's all the things. Doo -doo -doo, check out. You know, right. Where, like these ginormous supermarkets that we have where you're I just know. like it's going to take me, you know, I need my years. walking shoes to go to the back to get a thing of milk because it's a mile away. And I, you know what, that's one of the things that I think would help with our, like, food desert type of situation or that we have sometimes. Like, markets. even over here for you. I know. You have to drive seven to ten minutes to get to, like, it takes Unless you Unless I want to go to the east side market. Oh, east side Walmart. Yeah. I know. Unless I, you know. But, but yeah, if I want to go to a... a a non Walmart market. Yeah, because and I because I live where I live, right, like yeah. Central Norman. It's very easy to get to a, a place. Like it takes right. me two seconds to get to Sprouts, or yeah. five seconds to get to Homeland. Home, Homeland's even closer to me. Oh yeah. Do so, you like Homeland? I do like our little Homeland. Really? I the one do. on Lindsay? Mm-hmm. 
You know, they make their own tortilla chips. I think you've told me that They're before. They're so good. They're so good. I think you said for that like before. For like a dollar. Big old bag. For like a See, dollar. See, but I'm never, I'm never over by you. That, no. that homeland um, on Alameda by Not me. Not so great. I'm I'm shocked that it's still open. People They've are. had to constantly like shrink it down. Like they literally have like brought the walls in. So they've because because they don't have the stock and they don't have the customers. I'm seeing it's that a ghost all the, town every time you go in there. I'm seeing that all the time though. Everything is a little bit more expensive right now in the yeah. pandemic. Yeah. And so yeah. I got it. I want to do a turkey. Okay. Because I know that I'm going to go to two different houses. Yeah. <coughs> and have turkey there. Uh huh. But Jeremy makes a smoked turkey that is just like, um, yeah. So maybe we'll make a smoked turkey and then I'll we'll cut it in half and you guys can have half. Didn't we talk about doing like a taste test? We did. <laughs> I don't know if we have time to get that done. No, maybe we could do it after Thanksgiving. Why not? When they the turkeys s- are half price. They'll still have turkeys. Well, because people eat turkey at Christmas. They do. I don't. No, we don't either. But uh, people do. We could do a turkey taste test. Like get the 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 cheap. Butterball turkey. Right, that's, right, right. That's fifty nine cents a pound, which or is seventy nine cents a pound, or whatever. Not bad. And then the more expensive turkey. I mean, I'm not gonna go crazy and buy a hundred dollar turkey at that meat market. I have before. <gasps> I have. I've done it. And? I didn't buy it at the meat market though. I bought Why'd you it. Buy it. I bought it at um, Natural Grocers because oh. you can buy a heritage turkey. Oh my word! And one year. I decided that was it. Like that's it. I'm I'm getting fancy. I'm getting the heritage turkey. And tasted good. But I don't know that it tasted better. Do you think it was any better than the Butterball or the other brand? I never know what brands are. I don't know. I know. I don't really remember. It right. was a long time ago. I saw a duck at the grocery store the other day. Mm, I do like duck. I, I do too. Mm. But it has been. I've never fixed it myself. It's hard to fix. And I've done it several times, but I don't think I've ever done it well. Okay. See, to be honest, I my don't grandmother think I've ever done used it well. to fix it. Oh, and, did she? Mm-hmm, but I've never fixed it myself, and I'm always like, oh, that feels like something I need to get at a fancy restaurant. Isn't that always something? Like, if I see duck on a restaurant menu, I'm always going to get it. Are you? Because I'm always conflicted because ducks are so cute. <laughs> No, because like in my... I know it's delicious, <laughs> but then I just think about their cute little faces and the cute noises they make and no. their cute little feet and rah, 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 that walk around and I, that's I know. I imagine the ducks that are at the duck pond. Oh, the white ducks. No, the ones that have the weird wobbles and things. Oh yeah. Yeah. Those so I mean. imagine them as okay. mean. See, I'm picturing like Mr. and Mrs. Mallard. Oh, see, you're kind. I'm, I'm eating Mr. and Mrs. This, Mallard. This is the difference between the two of us. You, from, from I'm the public garden. <laughs> like the little cute ones that walk across the street yes. and they have like a duck crossing and That's things like this. That's what I'm picturing, Mr. Mm-hmm. and Mrs. Mallard. Yeah. Oh, well, well, time's up. Time's up, and <laughs> that um, conversation on just kind of went off a tangent. I think it did because uh, now kind of want to have a duck for, <laughs> kind of want to. Well, you know what, Josh? Maybe that's what you should serve your people who don't like traditional Thanksgiving dinner. You could go with duck. Like, you could go with duck, Cornish game hen. Cornish like game hen. Anyways, anyways, we're, okay, we're getting off on a tangent. As we do always. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with it. Hey, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. We're thankful for you. Oh my gosh, are we? Thankful for you. Thankful for you. We're thankful to be together. Right. And I hope that you, we hope that you are just enjoying your family as well. And that you are just having the best Thanksgiving ever. Here's how about this: have the best Thanksgiving available to you. Aww. Right? Because not because not it's not always going to be perfect. Guess no. what? Guess what? It could be a shit show. Oh, one year I totally burned all of the bread <laughs> for the stuffing because I made my own bread. I made my own bread for the stuffing, and then, and then you I burned, burned it, it oh, while I was toasting oh, it. I would start crying. And I cried. Okay. I literally yes, cried. And Jeremy goes. Oh my gosh, what do you need? What do you need? What do you need? I was like, I need bread. I need bread. And he was like, I'm out. I'm out. I'm run. He ran to Sprouts. Thank God Sprouts was open. And got some bread. (laughs) And I was just like a ball of, uh, huh. And it's been three days on this bread and now I ruined it. And all of our parents are coming over. It's our first Thanksgiving hosting here and I ruined it all. 
It was the worst. It was the worst. But you know what? That happens. It was a memory. Guess what? It's it a fun was, memory now. It was. And it was really funny. Now it's funny. Right. Now it's funny. Yeah, now it is. Okay. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Rest of your Cheers. Cheers.